Let's take our first problem. Let's say we have the number 433 and we want to write it in expanded form. Now, when we say expanded form, what we mean is we want to take this number and we want to blow it up so that we write down the value of each digit here, uh, uh, each digit. So we have a four in the hundreds place, a three in the tens place, and the three in the ones place. Now you know that this four, for instance, does not have a value of four. We know that it, that four actually means 400. The number here is 433. The four that's there, it doesn't have a value of four. It has a value of four in the hundreds place. So we know that that value of a four really means 400. So really the four means 400, right? Uh, now what does the three mean? This three does not really mean it has a value of three. This three is in the tens place. So it's really three times 10. And so the value of this really means 30. And you can hear it when you say the, the number 433. This actually has a value of 30. So really it's 400 plus 30. And then finally, what is the value of this last three? Now this three is actually in the ones place. So it's really three times one, which means that last three really does have a value of three. So we have a value of three. So this is what we call expanded form. All it means is you take every digit of your number and you write down the value of this digit. Here it's 400. The value of this digit, which is 30, and the value of this digit, which is three, and you add them all together. So we know that this is 400 plus 30 plus 3. 400 plus 30 plus 3, if you line them all up and you add them, you're going to get 433. That's what it means. We want to take the digits and blow up the number so that we write down what every digit is worth and then we add everything together. That's what we call the expanded form of a number. Every problem is going to be done like this and they're all very, very simple. All right, so we're going to be doing this with whole numbers first. And then in future lessons, we'll be doing it when we have a decimal point. What about the number 846? And I ask you, write this out in expanded form. You would say, what is the value of eight? Well, this eight is in the hundreds place, ones, tens, hundreds. So this is actually not worth eight. It's really worth 800, right? And then what is the value of this four? Of course, it's not worth four. It's worth 40 because it's 846. The value of this is really 40. And the value of this, of course, really is six because it's in the ones place. So here is the answer to this problem. And here is 800 plus 40 plus six. So you see all of these problems are going to be very, very similar and none of them are going to be very difficult. What if we have the number three, four, six, five, 3,465. What do you think the value of this is? Well, this is in the thousands place because this is the ones, the tens, the hundreds, here's the thousands. But the value of this three is not really three. The value of this three is really 3,000 because it's in the thousands place. What's the value of the four? It's in the hundreds place, so it's really worth 400. What's the value of the six? It's in the tens place, so it's really worth 60. And the five is really in the ones place, so it's just a five. So really, when we write down the number three, four, five, six, what we really mean is that's 3,000 plus 400 plus 60 plus five. 3,465, 3,000 plus 400 plus 60 plus five. That's what we mean uh, when we write down a number. All right, let's take a look at the next one. What about four, three, comma, six, four, five? Let's write this down in expanded form. Well, here's the ones, the tens, the hundreds, the thousands, the ten thousand. So this four is not worth four. It's really worth 40,000. Notice that the four stays the same, but every digit after we just change it to a zero. So it's really worth 40,000. Now the three is in the thousands place, so it's worth 3,000. And the six is in the hundreds place, so it's worth 600. And the four is in the tens place, so it's worth 40. And then the five is in the ones place, which is a five. So it's uh, 40,000 plus 3,000 plus 600 plus 40 plus five. That is the expanded form of that number. All right, let's see here. What's problem number? Yeah, that was problem number four. Here's number five. Let's take 91,365. And after you do enough of these, you see the pattern is very similar for all of them. What's the value of this nine? Well, it's in the 10 thousands place. This is the thousands, this is the 10 thousands. So this is worth 90,000. 
The one is in the thousands place, so it's only worth 1,000. This is in the hundreds place, so it's really worth 300. This is in the tens place, so it's really worth 60. And then of course the five is just worth the five. So we have 90,000 plus 1,000 plus 300 plus 60 plus five. This is really what we mean when we write this number down. All right, problem number six. Let's take a larger number, 653 comma 460. So here's the ones, the tens, the hundreds, the thousands, the ten thousands. Here's the hundred thousands, but we have six of them. So the value of this is really 600,000. This is in the ten thousands. We have five of them, so it's really worth 50,000. This is in the thousands, so it's really worth 3,000. And we can kind of wrap it to the next line. This is worth 400. This is worth 60. And then you have a zero here in the ones place, so you could put a plus zero, but it won't really matter. So, so finally what we have is 600,000 plus 50,000 plus 3,000 plus 400 plus 60. That's what we mean when we put it all together, we get 653,460. All right, just a couple more problems here. Yeah, just a couple more problems here. Let's take a look at the next problem. Let's say that we have 199482. 199482. So this is the ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands. We have one of them, so it's really worth 100,000. This is in the ten thousands place, but we have nine of them, so it's worth 90,000. This is in the thousands place, so it's worth 9,000. This is in the hundreds, so it's worth 400. This is in the tens, which means it's worth 80. And then finally, the two is just in the ones place. So we have 100,000 plus 90,000 plus 9,000 plus 400 plus 80 plus two. This is expanded form for this number. All right, only a couple more problems. And you see these go very, very fast as well. Now let's take, I don't want to call it a trick question, but let's take a look at a trickier question. What about 4 comma 0, 0, 9? What's expanded form for this one? Well, here's uh, ones, tens, hundreds, here's thousands. We have four of them, so it's worth 4,000, right? Now here we have a zero. It's in the hundreds place, but we have zero of them. So it, it really doesn't contribute anything because in the hundreds place we have no digit there at all. So we don't have any hundreds, really. This is in the tens place, but it's also zero. So we don't have any of the tens. So there's really nothing to write for the tens either because we have zero of them. But for the ones, we have nine of them and it's worth nine. So really the expanded form looks a little weird. It's 4,000 plus nine, which makes sense because 4,009 is exactly what you think it means. It's 4,000 of something plus nine more. That would be the expanded form. Because the digits are zero here, we don't have any entries in here because for these place values, we don't have any digits in there and that's why it's blank for those. All right, only two more. What about three, two, comma, four, five, seven? What is expanded form for this one? Well, this is in the ten thousands. That means we have three of them, means it's worth 30,000. This is in the thousands position, so it's worth 2,000. This is in the hundreds, which means it's worth 400. This is in the tens, which means it's worth 50, and then plus seven, because that's, uh, uh, that's just in the ones place. So we have 30,000 plus 2,000 plus 400 plus 50 plus seven. All right, we have one last problem. We're gonna make it enormous, gigantic, just to give you a little practice with a really big number. Let's take a look at this, nine comma three, four, two, seven, five, one, right? So what do we have here? This is ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands, here's millions, but we have nine of them. So actually that's worth nine million. Nine million is what this is actually worth. This is in the hundred thousands place. So it's worth three, because we have three of them, hundred thousand, right? Next line, this is in the ten thousands, but now we have four of them, so it's worth 40,000. This is in the thousands place, but we have two of them, so it's really worth 2,000. This is in the hundreds place, so it's worth 700. This is in the tens place for 50, and then the ones place for one. Let's check, 9 million plus 300,000 plus 40,000 plus 2,000 plus 700 plus 50 plus one. 
and that's the final answer. Now you might be asking, why are we going through this? Well, part of the reason is because we want you to know that when you write a number down, what you're really doing by putting the digits there and you say the number out loud, 9,342,751, all of those words, 9 million means this, 342,000 is the 300,000 plus the 40,000 plus the 2,000, that makes 342,000, the 751 come from there. It's to tell you that the digits of a number really mean you're adding up a bunch of things. Also, we've talked about place value and powers of 10, and so that kind of rolls into this. And then also, soon, we're going to have decimals. So we're going to have a decimal point with numbers after the decimal, and we'll also be talking about what those really mean. So we're doing this for whole numbers so that when we get to the decimals, we know what we're talking about as far as the decimal place values as well. I'd like you to go through these, make sure you understand all of them, solve them yourself. Follow me on the part two. We'll get a little more practice with uh, writing whole numbers in expanded form. Learn anything at mathandscience.com.